All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. Good morning, guys. What time is it, Papa? Y'all, Papa is up. I think it's like 8 in the morning. Y'all already know Z is at school. And Xavier is back at y'all with another video. I know y'all see I'm partially ready. I got up, showered, did something to my head. Because today, we going to the gun range, y'all. Today, I'm going to be taking y'all with me to the gun range, y'all. My trigger finger been itchy. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, like, I've been, like, I've even been telling y'all, like, I've been trying to get, where my little towel thing? Uh-uh, I need to fix this. Y'all are always peeping something, but, um, like, I've been telling y'all, I've been trying to get to this gun range, and my trigger, trigger finger been itching, like, I need to get to this gun range before I get to, uh, and, uh, you feel me? <laughs> so, my trigger finger been itching, so. Your girl is going to the gun range today, so and I'm taking y'all with me. Um, I gotta get dressed, I gotta get Popeye dressed, then we're gonna head out, y'all. Okay, okay, y'all. So I made it to the gun range. I'm here at um Quick Shots in Atlanta and Buckhead. Um, y'all, I'm so nervous because I never shot a gun before. I never, ever, ever in my life shot a gun before. And that's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm talking about that's crazy. Which is, that is not crazy. Because, Xavier, what is you shooting a gun for? But no, I never, ever shot a gun a day in my life. So this is, this is very much interesting. You know what I'm saying? It got my adrenaline rush. And you know what I'm saying? Because I'm doing stuff. I told y'all this is the year that I'm doing stuff of stuff I haven't done yet. So y'all stay tuned because I'm doing, I'm doing stuff. Like I'm doing stuff. Like <laughs> you can hear the nervousness in my voice. I'm keep repeating myself, but I am, I am definitely nervous y'all. Um, yeah, this is going to be my first time shooting a gun y'all. I'm going to try to get as much content, um, as I can for sure but let's go in the bigger heavier guns are going to be easier to shoot mm -hmm. um the smaller lighter ones they're going to have a lot more kick they're going to have a lot more snap they're going to be less pleasant to shoot mm -hmm. um they're going to be less pleasant to get started with okay um so something somewhere along the lines of uh, a full-size Glock, like the Glock 17, uh, Hecker and Coke VP9, uh, Smith & Wesson. Those would be really nice to start off with. But then okay. we can, you know, downsize if you'd like as okay. well. Yeah, give me something easy. Gotcha. <laughs> give me something easy. I'll get you Glock 17, and I'll also get you this Canik. So which the ones do I have? This is the Glock 17. Glock 17. And that one's a Canic TP9 okay. Canic. SFX. Okay. Let me get myself together. And that should be fine here, right? I'm sorry, what was that? That's fine. Mm -hmm. It's the same way. Mm -hmm. The switch on this one's just gonna be a little bit smaller, but yeah. So do I just? Yep. Okay. One 
eye closed, look through the view in the back to find the circle in the front. The circle in the front's covering what you want to shoot. Lean forward just a little bit. There you go. Squeeze slow. Firm grip. And to keep that front sight on top of the X. Squeeze slow. Take your time. See how it's dipping a little? Yeah. Got to keep it on top of the X. Keep it on top of the X. Don't let it dip. Just move your finger. Your hand should be still. There you go. Pull the stop all the way back. Yep, she's up. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let out some steam. Let me die, do. Um, do that. I'm definitely getting better at loading it up. No, it's um. That's what's on the. That's what it looks like. Yeah, right there.
Okay, y'all, so we made it back home. Um, right now, me and Papa eat leftovers, spaghetti and meatballs, y'all. When I say these spaghetti and meatballs hit, they hit. Last night, Z ate two plates, y'all, and Z don't even eat two plates. Them spaghetti and meatballs was hitting. But uh, look at Papa over there. Y'all hear him? Listen. Y'all hear him smack it. He over there throwing down. But, y'all, so... I think we like the gun range, y'all. So, let me get y'all the tea. Let me get y'all the tea. So, y'all, when y'all see me struggling, like, with uh, loading the gun, y'all, it wasn't even the nails. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. It wasn't even the nails because cause, y'all see how fast I picked up on it. It just... The first time, y'all, I was shaking. Like... Okay, y'all, so it was so triggering because as soon as I walked in and hearing the gun sound, it reminded me of my Chicago days. Because I don't know if I ever told y'all the story, but one reason why I moved from Chicago, because I used to live on Madison and Pulaski. Yeah, I used to live on Madison Madison and Pulaski in this tall building. And um, it, was a, it was a store right across the street from us. We lived on top of a store. That's the type of building I used to live in. We lived on top of um a store and there was a store right across the street from us y'all i think z was like one years old and it was a shootout you know what i'm saying right out like right across the street from us like if i looked at my front room window i was in my room z was in the front room watching tv but if you look at my room window in the front room window the apartment i lived in you could see the store like you could see the store y'all all i heard pop 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 like it felt like it wasn't gonna stop Y'all, I ran in that front room, grabbed my baby, and hit the flow so fast. Because when it sounded like it was so close, like somebody was literally shooting. That's how gunshots sound, like so close, like somebody shooting at you directly. I didn't know where it was coming from. I just, no, I just, I ran and grabbed my baby, and I hit the flow. So, walking in there, and even when uh, we used to call block parties out west of Chicago, Fifi's. So when we used to go to the Fifi's, the night always ended with a shootout and and numerous of people laying on the ground dead every time. So walking in that gun range and hearing, just hearing the gunshots, like it triggered me a little bit because it's like, damn, it instantly reminded me of that time. And I knew that was going to happen, but because I still think about that time. Like, damn, my baby was young as fuck. That's one of the reasons why I left Chicago and moved to Atlanta because I was like, I got to get my baby up out of here because Z one up at one years old and, and I I ran to her. Shoot, my baby didn't know what was going on. I just know I hit the flow. But it was so, it was triggering and it was crazy. So I was just like, I don't know. I was shaky at first. I was real shaky, but as I got to doing it, it felt more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel like, like I gotta get this, uh, get this out the way because I gotta protect myself and my kids if I have to. You know what I'm saying? So I used to think a gun is this bad, bad thing. Like I didn't even want to own no gun because my favorite cousin, y'all. When I say my favorite, my favorite cousin. I know play cousins, not no. No, this was my favorite cousin, Kevin. He passed away due to gun violence. And um, it just it just so triggering, like, knowing, like, going to the gun range, knowing he lost his life this way. So, I be thinking, I be thinking like that. Um, but it's like, I know he'll want me to protect his nieces and nephews. And he'll want me to uh, protect myself, too. So, I went on and did, yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to get emotional, but... Yeah, so it's like a lot of it's like a lot of trauma behind it's like a lot of trauma behind guns, you know what I'm saying? But I know for a fact, like my cousin, he don't want me to protect myself, and I want to protect myself and my kids. So I did it, y'all. I did good. That man was like, "You sure this your first time?" I'm like, "Yeah, this is my first time." <laughs> but that was funny. He did say that. I'm like, "Yeah, this is my first time." <laughs> But, y'all, Papa, I think I'm so funny. But look, y'all, I had three good ones right on the X. I hit one in the same X two times. So, I did good. I was tearing this part up. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing down here, but 
Right here, I did good. I did. Don't don't play with me. Don't, Katie. No, nah. <laughs> no, don't play with me, y'all. Like I did good, and I'm going back for sure. Like he was giving me pointers on like like to what to work on, and of course I'm getting uh, concealed to carry. I'm not just trying to carry no gun to be on no tough stuff. I'm really trying to protect myself and my kids if I have to. So I'm getting my concealed carry. He told me like what days they have classes and stuff like that. So I'm excited for that. That was something. That was something. That was crazy. That is, that whole thing was crazy for me. Like walking in, y'all heard y'all seen my face when I first walked in and heard people in there already shooting like. That was crazy, but that was the gun range, y'all. Um, it is 1.16 p.m. Y'all know Z get out of school in another hour. I ain't doing nothing for the rest of the day. All I'm going to do, y'all, it's still, it still look bad outside. It looks so bad outside as far as the rain. Like, it looks so bad outside. Um, Papa will be with me all week, well, for the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, his dad is going out of town. He got a funeral. He lost, um, his cousin, RIP to Devonna. Uh, he lost his cousin. Uh, so he went to Chicago for like a half a week. So Papa going to be here with us through the weekend. I got to find something to do. I think we're going to go to, um, the jumpy house. Yeah. You want to go to the jumpy house? <laughs> I think I'm going to take him to the jumpy house maybe Saturday and do our thing. But Y'all, I'm finna pack my hookah up. I'm finna pack the rest of my wine up. We finna go chill at my girl Lana house. I'm taking the kids with me. So, we're gonna chill at her house. I'm gonna smoke some hookah, drink some wine with her. And that's how we, that's how I got planned for today, y'all. Y'all, like, I'm chilling. Uh, y'all comment down below. Let me know how I did at the gun range. I know I, I didn't really uh, show, like, me shoot my target, but... Uh, he didn't uh, recommend that. You know what I'm saying? You know, certain rules, certain places. So, I did my little one one two that I can. But, thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. Y'all already know the vibes. To my ladies, we got to protect ourselves. Okay? To my ladies, we got to protect ourselves. So, if you can, go get training. Get your gun license. Conceal the carrier. And protect yourself. I love y'all. Y'all stay dangerous. Look at me. <laughs> Not stay dangerous because I went to the little gun range, but <laughs> y'all stay dangerous and uh, turn on that post notification bell. Subscribe so you know when Xavier is on your screen. Y'all need to eat for my food. Get cold. I'm out.